Hello, how to evaluate with a calculator 5 to the power of 7 minus 6. So we have 7 right here. And what we can do is to express the 7 as summation of 6 and 1. So this is 5 to the power of this is 6 plus 1 minus 6. Now, if you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a power n times a to the power of m. By applying this identity right here, this is 5 to the power of 6 times 5 to the power of 1 minus 6. Now, what we can do again is I can simply express this 6 here as summation of 5 and 1. So I have 5 power 6 times 5 power 1 is the same thing as 5. This is minus 6. I can write it as 5 plus 1. And this is in brackets. So from here, I have 5 power 6 times 5. Minus times 5. This is minus 5. Then minus times positive 1. This is minus 1. So at this particular point, we can easily factor out 5 because there is 5 here and there is 5 here. So I have 5 outside the bracket. This divided by 5. This is 5 power 6. Then I bring down the minus. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. And we have minus 1 outside the bracket. So from here, I can have 5 times. This is 5 to the power of the 6 here. I can express it as a dot of 3 times 2. Then I have minus 1, and this is minus 1. Now remember, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n raised to the power of n. Applying this right here, we are simply going to have this is 5 times this is 5 to the power of 3. This is raised to the power of 2 minus 1. And this is minus 1. Now, I can also raise this 1 to the power of 2 because 1 power 2 is the same thing as 1. Because I want this to and this to be the same. Now, at this point, there is minus here. So, this is power 2. This is power 2. I can make use of difference of two squares. If you have a power 2 minus b power 2, this equals a minus b times a plus b. And in this case, my a is 5 to the power of 3, while my b is 1. So from here, I'm going to make use of this. I have my 5 outside the bracket. Then for a minus b, this is 5 to the power of 3 minus 1 times for a plus b, this is 5 to the power of 3 plus 1. Then this is minus 1. Now also remember that 5 to the power of 3 equals 5 times 5 times first. And this is 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5. This is 125. So this is 5 times 1 to 5 minus 1 times 1 to 5 plus 1. And this is minus 1. So from here, I have 5 times 1 to 5 minus 1. This is 1 to 4 times 1 to 5 plus 1, this is 1 to 6, this is minus 1. Now we need to multiply this out, 1 to 4 times 1 to 6. So I can have my 5 times this, I can simply have it as 100 plus 24, times this is 100 plus 26, and this is minus 1. So right now, this and these are in the form of a plus b times a plus c. This is our a, this is b, this is a, this is c. So this will simply give us 100 plus, in fact, this is what 
we have just done so far. So this is equals to, if you want to multiply this out, this is a squared plus a times b plus c plus b times c. So let's make use of this. This will give us 100 squared. So this is 100 power 2. That's a squared plus a that is 100 times b plus c, 24 plus 26. Then plus 24 times 26. So from here, 100 times 100, you are going to have 10,000. So you have 10,000 plus this is 100 times 24 plus 26. This is 50. Then you have plus 24 times 26 will simply give you 6 to 4. You can easily multiply that out. You can just multiply that out if you want. So from here, this is 10,000 plus this is 5,000, that is 100 times 50, and this is 6 to 4. So 5,000 plus 6 to 4, that is 5, 6 to 4. Then you add it to 10,000, that will be 15,000. Then you have 6 to 4. So what we are going to do will be to multiply this with this particular five that is outside the bracket. So we are going to have five times one, five, six, two, four, and we have minus one. So let's multiply this out. We have five times one, five, six, two, four, minus one. So I have one, five, six, two, four, times five. So I have 5 times 4, that is 20. So you have 0 and pair over 2. I have 5 times 2, that is 10. 10 plus 2, that is 12. I have 2 and pair over 1. I have 5 times 6, that is 30. 30 plus 1, that is 31. I have 1 and pair over 3. I have 5 times 5, that is 25, 25 plus 3, that is 28. I have 8 and carry over 2. So I have 5 times 1, that is 5. 5 plus 2, that is 7. So this is what we have gotten from this multiplication. Now the next step will be to subtract 1 from this. So if you subtract 1 from this, we are now going to make use of 20 because 0 cannot subtract 1. So 20 minus 1, that is 19. We have 7, 8, 1, 1, 9. So this becomes your final answer without the use of calculator for 5 to the power of 7 minus 6. So the answer equals 7, 8, 1, 1. And we have achieved this without a calculator. Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you. And you can also drop a comment on the comment box. We really appreciate that. So that is it. Now, the most important step was just to express this 7 in terms of 6 plus 1. Then we made use of this identity. Then we have this and this applying this identity so from there we expressed the six as summation of five and one then we multiply by this minus sign then we factor r5 and we were able to make use of some manipulations to have the value of five or six so we express this as three times two then we find difference of two squares because one power two is the same thing as one and that is it after everything we got our answer so that is it thank you and Goodbye.